everyone. This is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com, where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, I'm going to address Wacom settings for Lightroom. But first, make sure you check out my free workflow video series available on my website. I have several videos available to address setting up your Wacom tablet. From understanding the properties, to really getting accustomed to the absolute positioning of the tablet. But today we are going to dive in to more application specific settings. So I wanna set, set up my Wacom tablet to be really efficient inside of Lightroom. I'm going to choose those tablet properties from within my system preferences. And the first thing I need to do is add Lightroom to my application list. So I'm going to click the plus button and I have Lightroom open, so it is showing me my currently open applications. If you did not have Lightroom open, oh, hello, then you will not see it here. You would have to choose browse and find it. So let's click Lightroom and say, okay. And now we see that Lightroom is showing as an application that we can use within these properties. What you need to do is make sure that you click it in order to select it. So right now I'm going to program my grip pen for Lightroom 5. The first thing I did was I had to ask myself or I had to define a goal. Like what was the point in doing this? And the point for me was to keep my hands off of the keyboard and exclusively on my Wacom tablet so that I could be as efficient as possible. So I asked myself in the library module, what keyboard shortcuts do I use most often? I always start by calling my images. So I'm typically using my right and left arrow keys along with my X key in order to mark for rejection. So I thought, how could I, how could I program this so that I wouldn't have to use my keyboard? And what I decided was, uh, first I should note that I'm right-handed. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to program the buttons in my stylus so that this top button, which now is set for double click, I actually want that to be my right arrow key. So I can just click, click, click with my thumb and go through my photos. And I want the bottom button to be my left arrow key so that I can go back in the photos. So what I'm gonna do is start with this top button and I'm gonna change it from double click to keystroke. And all I'm going to do is press the right arrow key on my keyboard and I am going to name this right arrow and choose OK. And then for this bottom button, I'm going to choose keystroke. I'm simply going to press the left arrow key on my keyboard and name it left arrow and say OK. And now if I just jump over to Lightroom and I'm in the library module, what I'm going to do instead of pressing my arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm going to press my top button on my stylus, which will take me through the photos to the right as if I'm pressing the right arrow. And then if I press the bottom button on my stylus, it will take me through my images just as the left arrow would. I'm going to press E to get into my loop view and show you what this looks like. This is the top button and then this is the bottom button and I can get through the images really, really quickly. The next thing I do most often is I use X to reject my photos. So I would press X on my keyboard, for instance, in order to reject that photo. And it disappeared because I have my filter turned on and I go through that in more depth in my online Lightroom series. Jumping back to my preferences, I wanna somehow program that X key somewhere into my stylus or my tablet itself so that I don't have to use the keyboard. So what I decided to do was choose my tablet and then choose functions. Now you'll notice that Lightroom disappeared because I need to add it for the functions as well as the pen because if I choose grip pen, there it is. But if I choose functions, it's gone. So let's go ahead and add Lightroom to this as well. Remember, we're seeing the currently open applications. And there we have it. Again, make sure you click to select it. I can't tell you how important this is. Please don't miss this because I've come into here and programmed something in its entirety only to realize that I did it for all applications instead of the application that I really intended. So what I'm going to do, these are the buttons on my Wacom tablet. I'm using a Wacom 4 Intuos Medium. It's a couple of years old, so yours might look a little bit different. But what I'm gonna do is program this bottom button to be my X key. So I'm going to choose keystroke. I'm simply going to press X on my keyboard and then name this reject and say, okay. And then it says reject. And it actually, my Intuos 4, has a lit panel and so I can see on the panel it says reject. Another function I use most often when calling is I like to 
survey my photos. And that's N on the keyboard in Lightroom. So I'm going to change this. I'm just going to press N on my keyboard and name this survey and say, okay. And I also use compare mode, which is C on the keyboard. So let's change this keystroke to C, just pressing C on my keyboard and then naming this compare. And just as a quick troubleshooting technique, if you are in this panel and you make a mistake and you accidentally press it twice or a couple of letters, if you try to press delete or backspace on your keyboard, that's what's going to happen because it records keystrokes. So you actually have to press delete right here and then you'll be fine. So go ahead and say, okay. So now I have reject, survey, and compare programmed into those bottom three buttons on the function of my tablet itself. Let's jump over to Lightroom and see how that plays out. So I'm going to use those buttons on my stylus to, use, to simulate my right and left arrow keys. And when I see a series of photos that I wish to compare or survey, I can select multiple photos. And then rather than use my keyboard, I can just press my Wacom tablet. I can press the survey button or go to the compare button. And actually I do have my, I can't lie to you guys. I have my left hand on the keyboard because I'm pressing G to go back to the grid or E for loop view. So clearly those are two more buttons that I should probably program into my tablet. If at any time you forget, what you programmed into your tablet. I actually have information set to one of the buttons so that when I press it, I can see in the bottom left, okay, I have reject, survey, compare, and then shift. And maybe I want to change the settings on that top menu so that I can include the E key for loop and the G key for grid. I mean, really what it takes is sitting down and mapping out your workflow. What do I use most often in the library module in Lightroom? And how can I program that into my Wacom tablet so that I can be more efficient? You can just click to clear that menu. Let's jump back over to the tablet properties. And I can see here that this button represents my settings. And that's the one I pressed in order to see what I had programmed into my buttons. Now, as I mentioned earlier, my tablet has an LCD display panel, so I can actually physically see right there. I don't have to use that, but you can see how this can be really helpful in order to speed up your workflow in Lightroom. We'll explore this further in future videos. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you soon.